what is up you guys it's Katia Bulks welcome back to the channels and welcome to another protein review yeah I know it's past Christmas past the holidays but I figured this hat would be appropriate to wear due to what we are reviewing today so yes you probably read the title of this video and that's what brought you here so we're gonna be trying BEAM, which is, stands for Be Amazing's uh, Seasonal Vegan Protein. They made one in peppermint mocha. I don't know if it's still around by the time this video comes out, but I know that they come out with it every year during like Christmas time. I forgot if it comes out also during the month of like November or even sooner. However, I figured I would still jump on it and try it with you guys because peppermint mocha sounds freaking delicious if you enjoy peppermint mocha please comment that down below and hopefully by the end of this video we'll see if this tastes delicious now i have tried beam one other time we did try their birthday cake flavor so i will put that little card up above if you want to know if that flavor tasted good and of course if you want me to try any other flavors from this brand please let me know because We've got a lot of wild flavors that might be interesting to try with you guys since I love doing these videos. And for anyone who harks on these videos, um, do you have anything else to do with your life other than sending bad comments to people? If you're doing it, stop it. Get some help. All right, so anyways, for all you kind people that came to my channel let's try this together let's jump right into it for this packet it's got 15 servings and that's for one scoop of 38.6 grams that's quite exact anyways that's 140 calories 2.5 fat 8 carb and 20 protein and from the protein blend it looks like it is a pea protein and mung bean protein um, it's also just got some evaporated cane sugar, cocoa powder, pumpkin seed protein, natural flavors, Himalayan pink salts, aquamine, I don't know what that is, Calcer calcareous marine algae, silica, apple fiber, blueberry fiber, stevia leaf, and monk fruit extra. It does show that it has it, four grams of added sugar. So if you want a no sugar added, protein powder <laughs> this may not be for you but that might also help the flavor be good we shall see that's not too much of a concern for me i mean it does raise the carb intake so if you are very low carb maybe this isn't the one for you but this might be the one for me so we shall find out so i'm gonna go get a glass fill it up with some water weigh it out and we will Taste test this. All right, so this actually mixed up super easily, super quickly because I put in quite an amount to get the full 20 grams of protein and it was a fair amount being like 38 grams. So I was kind of concerned how well it would mix, but it mixed pretty darn perfectly and just within a few shakes. So that's pretty nice to know. Anyways, but <laughs> it might taste a little strong since I put in so little water in comparison to how much protein powder. So let's give it a taste test. Oh, that smells so nice. Oh my goodness. Definitely a little too much water to protein ratio because it is kind of thick, but wow. That is instantly like peppermint chocolate i would say i mean it is peppermint mocha so coffee flavor wise that's not really coming through but it tastes delicious as peppermint chocolate peppermint is quite strong that flavor reads way more than the other flavor so if you're not a peppermint fan i know it's kind of common for people to not like peppermint then you wouldn't enjoy this too much maybe you were hoping for something that's more mocha or chocolate forward and a little bit of peppermint. No, this is quite strong, which I enjoy personally, but you might not out there. Mm. No, this is delicious. I mean, wow, this is really good. This would be fun to bake with, to make some kind of 
peppermint chocolate brownies or something. I feel like that would go really well with. Anyways, I'm gonna finish this up and then I will give my final thoughts, final review and score out of 10. All right, my friends, giving my final thoughts on the peppermint mocha vegan protein from Beam. I would give this a solid 8.2 out of 10. Even though the flavor, I would probably give it maybe closer to a nine. The only caveat is that it is quite pungent in peppermint. So I feel like people wouldn't be too eager to just buy it. Plus the mocha does not come through. Like I had mentioned, this tastes more like they were going for a peppermint hot chocolate. And even if so, the chocolate is really weak in comparison to the peppermint. So I wish those flavors came forward a bit more. So maybe they just gotta adjust the ratio a little bit of the flavoring of peppermint to chocolate or mocha. And also why I dock it a few points is the fact that they do have added sugars. If this is going to be a protein that you use daily and you are trying to watch your sugar intake, I feel like you could have gone, gotten away with just the stevia extract and the monk fruit extract. Even if needed be, you can always do like erythritol. I see that sometimes in protein powders. Of course, if you are sensitive to sugar alcohols, you would want to stay away from that. But otherwise, it is a solid protein. I do enjoy it and I can't wait to try it with my morning oatmeal while I consume the rest of this as well as mixing it in with my post-workout cereals. Otherwise, I might buy it again. I don't know. It's one of those give and takes that I wasn't too crazy crazy about. Like I said, I wish it had just a bit more of the chocolatey flavor, but if you want to give it a try, I will link their website down below. Don't know if it's still available, but maybe if you find this video during Christmas time, then you can go ahead and go try it because I know it will be available then. Anyways, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and give this video a nice thumbs up. Comment something kind down below, please. If you have anything rude to say, just put it in your back pocket and shoo. Anyways, I love the rest of y'all. I love you too, haters. You're still bringing traction to the channel, so why not? Anyways, love you all. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, rest of your year. Happy New Year's, and go get those games in the gym, and I'll catch you for the next video. See ya.